G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's topic, painting hard body fishing lures. Okay, so this is the first video of a new playlist on my YouTube channel in which you can follow my journey as I learn how to paint hard body fishing lures. So why bother sourcing hard body blanks, taking the time to paint them, fitting them out with components and fishing with them? Well, for me, it is simply a great sense of achievement in creating something, testing it, and seeing it work. So today is just the intro video. I'll show you the blank types that I'm using and where I get them from. I'll show you the final product of the fishing lures, and I must warn you, my artistic ability is not that great. And I'll also show you the final product after it's taking a bashing from some of the fish out around Harvey Bay. So I've spent a lot of time and energy researching where to source hard body blanks from, and I'm not even going to get into the topic of plastic versus timber. But what I've actually discovered that Australian suppliers are few and far between, and I must admit a lot of their products that I tested didn't really work that well. The most reliable ones I found were from overseas suppliers, particularly out of China, and I accessed these through eBay or direct through their website. I've recently started sourcing blanks from W Lure. Dot com and I keep going back to them as I find their service excellent especially the free postage the product is good and the blanks work most importantly and if you check out their website there's an awful lot of reviews from people around the world saying the same thing this is a collection of the lures uh, that I've recently sourced as you can see they arrive in neat little packaging I've never had any breakages when they've tipped up and they look feel and weigh exactly what they say they are on the website the next topic is how to actually paint them and this is one where there's so many different uh, YouTube videos, uh, blogs and forums out there with all the different advice under the sun and it gets very very confusing. I try to keep things fairly simple and that's exactly how I approach painting fishing lures. So I sourced a little airbrush kit off of eBay for about 100 to 120 bucks. Um, I then started looking at paints and a lot of the people were referring to the wicked paint range that you can source. Uh, so I hunted around for an Australian supplier, again pretty hard to find, but I managed to find the Airbrush Mega Store in Adelaide, who've got a great online store, uh, and that's where I sourced my paint from. The next part was, what am I actually going to coat my lures with once I've finished painting them? Um, I tried a couple of different types of lacquer, uh, two-pack, all sorts of things. I found that painting it on by hand actually left... Uh, like little drips and things sort of coming off the lure as they dried and then I stumbled across a spray-on lacquer it's an automobile product that you can get from super cheap and it works fantastic so I'm just going to use this lure as an example of how successful I've been on catching fish with them uh, it's a little three and a half to four inch uh, surface popper it looks very familiar to some of the uh, poppers you get from some of the big brands in Australia but that's another topic so painting these ones up were fairly simple. Um, this is the design I've just been using uh, recently. And you can see from the footage uh, of tackling queenfish, uh, GTs, all sorts of those sort of species, uh, they've held up pretty well. These are two that I painted up a few months ago and I've been using them an awful lot over the last, especially the last three months. Um, I've kitted them out with quality components from Eagle Claw and you can see the damage that's been done to the lure and the trebles uh, by the fish over a period of time. Uh, the trebles at the back have survived okay, a little bit of straightening here and there. The trebles at the front have just been absolutely annihilated and the paintwork's held up fairly well. Uh, the lacquer held up fairly well and you just get the normal sort of tooth marks and sort of grinding on the lure and things like that. But Overall, not too bad. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Remember to hit like on our videos, subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can also provide support to us through Patreon. Have a great day, and I hope to see you out on the water.